Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create a screenshot with an Electron app. Now, I know there is a lot of these out there, but a lot of them are either outdated or don't really follow the correct procedure of how to send data between the render and the main process. And so here I have a basic Electron app that I made from the Electron official website using their Build Your First app tutorial. And so I'm going to assume that you've gone through this and all this code will be hosted on my GitHub, which I will post in the description. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to get rid of these HTML tags from the tutorial and we're going to add our own. So we're going to add a button and an image tag and the button is what we're going to press to capture the screenshot. And this image tag is where the image is going to go once we get it. Now let's go ahead and change the title to electron screenshot example. And there's one more thing we're going to need to do in this file. And that is update these meta tags. Because if we do not do this, then the image will not properly come through due to, you know, some security policy. So the next thing we're going to do is come to our render process. And this is the code from the tutorial. We're going to get rid of it. And we're going to copy and paste our own code. So what this code is doing is we're getting that screenshot button by its ID. And we're adding a click event listener onto it. And once we click it, we're going to call this take screenshot function. And once we get into this take screenshot function, we are going to call window.screenshot.capture screenshot. And this is going to be called in this preload.js file. So let's go over there. We don't have it defined yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to screenshot. You can name this whatever you want with, you know, whatever you're doing. We're taking a screenshot, we're gonna name it screenshot. And that corresponds to this right here, this screenshot. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add this line of code. And so this is um, this function is what we just called in our render, capture screenshot, capture screenshot. And this context bridge is kind of where the, the bi-directional data flow lives. So right here, we're sending data one way, we're sending it to the main process, and we're using this IPC render, so we're going to need to import that. And we're sending it with this parameter capture screenshot. So let's go over to our main.js file. And let's, this is the code from the tutorial. We're going to leave all of this. I'm going to paste in this. We're going to be using this IPC main module. So let's go ahead and import that IPC main. And this will be called when we call that capture screenshot from right here, capture screenshot. Those two correspond to each other. And so once we get into this function, we're going to call this capture screen function, which we do not have defined yet. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that in. And this is the bread and butter of the whole thing. You know, this is where we are getting our screenshot from. And so, this function relies on two modules from Electron, this screen module and this desktop capture module. So let's go ahead and 
import those in desktop capture. Okay. And so we can read the comments here and see what's going on. We're getting the primary display. We're getting its width and its height. We're setting this options um, object with its width and its height and you know, type it to screen. And we're using this desktop capture module and we're passing in the options. And so what this is going to return is the sources. And so this sources is an array of all of our, um, all of our, our screens that we have. So let's say, for example, you have two screens hooked up. This is going to return an array of two different objects, one of your primary screen and one of your secondary screen. And so what this line is doing right here is we are extracting the primary display from that from that array. So let's say you wanted to get a screenshot from your, your second screen, you're going to have to change this code. And if you console log this, this sources uh, variable out, you'll see, and you'll see how to, you know, how to manipulate this to get it. And so here we get our primary source. We get the thumbnail, which contains all of our image data. And then we return our image back up to the IPC main function. So with that image that we just returned, we're calling this two data URL function on it. Now you, if you look at it, if you console log it and look into it, you'll see you can do like two PNG, two JPEG, and there's a whole bunch of different options that you can call on, on this. But for our purposes, we need the data URL. So we're going to get this data URL and we are going to send it back to the render process through this preload. And we're going to do that calling this screenshot captured. And so we don't have that defined yet. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and define it. So here we see there is that screenshot captured parameter that we passed in screenshot captured. And we are sending the screenshot URL back to the render process. And we're using a callback that's provided for us. And so if we go back to our render process, we'll see window.screenshot.screenshot captured. And that is where this is getting called, this screenshot captured. And so we're getting our data URL passed in. And then we are getting that screenshot image that we defined in index.html. We're setting its source to the data URL. And that's pretty much it. So if we run our Electron app, we see we have our capture button, but we don't have an image yet because we haven't taken it. So let's go ahead and take it. And there we go, there's our screenshot. And so that is how you take a screenshot with an Electron app using the Context Bridge. Thanks for watching.